Good morning, healthy humans. Make it be known. I did not want to turn on the camera today, but I am promising weekly content. So here we are. I've had like a cold or something this week. And I woke up today feeling better. I feel better. And I really... <coughs> that, but okay, here we are. It is Christmas Eve Eve. I'm going home back to Dallas for like three days to see my family and I need to get an oil change. I need to get one more thing for my mom. I really want to get a juice to get like vitamins and shit into my system. So we're doing a what I eat in a day and kind of just like hang out with me for the day um, because I'm lonely and I haven't seen people in a while and I could really use some friends. I hope you don't click off because I would really like to hang out with you today. God, this is my favorite part of my morning, starting with my King Coffee. And I recently just got a new adaptogen blend that I've been putting into my coffee, and I'm so obsessed with it. I'm trying to reach for it. Can you see that? If you can't see that, it's called Violet Fog Potions. But this is called the Stress Blend, and it has maca, cacao, more reishi, ashwagandha, and hisha wu. And I love adding it to my coffee because it gives it a really chocolatey flavor. I've noticed really help with my stress levels. I'll drink it um, midday too, instead of coffee. And I've noticed that it's like, it's been so, so, so helpful for my stress. So if you're watching this, it may be on Christmas Eve when I post it. Um, it may be on Christmas when I post it. Who knows? And if that's the case, Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas Eve. I actually wasn't gonna go home for the holidays. This year has been like a lot for me. It's been a year of unpacking a lot of childhood wounds and patterns and trauma and really doing what I can to reprogram myself. And I've become so aware of these things and I've been setting up boundaries with my family, with friends, with myself, just doing my best to heal this trauma so I don't carry it on. And I wasn't gonna go home but I got some good advice, maybe I'll share that later, um, to show up with love and see how that goes. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, just hope it all goes well this year. Let's get started with the day. As the year approaches, as the year approaches, I mean the year is always approaching, but as this year is, you know, coming to a close, I've just been reflecting and setting some intentions for the new year. If you've watched my video, How I Quit Vaping, my goal is to stop vaping for six months. I'm terrified considering that I know that I have some events where like partying and drinking are going to be coming up. So it's like, will I be able to follow through? Fuck, I really hope so. I actually scheduled a hypnotherapy appointment I learned about hypnotherapy when I did NLP, um, but I've never like done it on myself and I don't know if that's really going to be the most productive thing for me to try to do change work on myself. So I'm getting a hypnotherapist. I made that video how I kind of quit vaping because it used to be like a consistent habit for a year and now it's more of like an off and on type of habit. I've learned a lot through this process about addiction and um, quitting vaping and like all of my patterns and like why I do it, but sometimes it's still a habit I'm getting to the point where the negatives of the habit are outweighing the positive fun things of the habit now And I want to stop and I want to be able to prove to myself that I can do it and that like I do have the discipline Anyways, I just wanted to share I was just journaling though my hypnotherapist asked me to like before our session to make a list of all the things that trigger me to want to vape and i was just writing for i think like a year um because there's a lot of them but she was asking me to make a list so when we do the hypnotherapy she can go in and like undo those triggers i'm not a hypnotherapist expert i just don't sit i don't know we also had a really great conversation over the phone when i like inquired about it and i told her i was like really informed about subconsciously why i do it and I was like listing off all these reasons about <clears throat> like vaping is this reaction that I developed to the feelings of abandonment and rejection. I'm probably not doing the best job of explaining this, but regardless, I'm really excited to do this and to like try something new. And I think it was a really good step. And I'm really proud of myself for like taking the steps that I need to take 
in order to get towards my goals. Something I'm working on is acknowledging myself for the steps that I'm taking instead of beating myself up that I'm not there yet or that I'm not doing a good enough job I found that those little bits of gratitude keep me attached to the outcome keep me a little more motivated to keep going and I'm building that sense of trust within myself so that I can achieve that goal progress is progress regardless of how much it is those are my morning journaling thoughts um, I have really nothing else to say definitely feeling a little bit uh, sketchy <laughs> earlier when I was downtown like doing my errands I went to Raw Republic which oh yeah I should I should show you this I went to Raw Republic which is a new juice place I woke up this morning and my body was screaming for nutrients because when I'm like sick or have allergies or don't feel good for some reason I gravitate towards the most like nutritionally sparse foods of all time but I woke up this morning and my body was saying please a vitamin any of them i went to raw republic that's a, like a new juice place that popped up relatively recently in austin and it started by sheena i don't remember her last name but i will like put her in the description below because she has another location in new orleans she's super dope if you are in austin or you come to austin you should check it out and get a juice from her i got this one called glam ginger lemon green apple and then it has eight different mushrooms in it she makes her own mushroom blend and also sells it and then i got the pop your collard and this one just also screamed health so but this guy wow i really need to go to like target whole foods one of those stores because i'm out of like toilet paper so i've been using paper towels i was gonna say not as comfortable as you think it's it was probably wasn't comfortable to begin with and it's still not comfortable so i'm gonna go get toilet paper that's really how the day is going and i don't know i'm happy to be alive today there's something about when you're sick and when you start to feel better you're just like holy shit i'm so happy to be alive yeah i'll catch up with y'all soon I realized as I was cooking, I like went into my kitchen to make lunch like I have no food, which is perfect before you're about to go on vacation and frightening because you just don't know what you're gonna eat. <laughs> but this is what I made. I made a cashew cheese sauce myself last night because I was craving mac and cheese, but I don't eat dairy. So I had one zucchini. I sauteed that in olive oil. I cooked up some red lentil pasta, had a little bit of arugula left in my fridge and just kind of like sauteed the vegetables together, cooked the red lentil pasta and then tossed everything with the cashew cheese and then a little bit of like an herb blend seasoning on top. It is 
so good. It's like a veggie, vegan mac and cheese. I have no meat in my house, so this will do for now. I think my what I eat today is have turned into vlogs. Hope you're cool with that. I went to Whole Foods and like I still have no food. I'm really not sure what I bought there. I needed um, paper towels, toilet paper, and dish soap. And I was like, yeah, I'll buy that at Whole Foods because that's what normal people do. I ended up getting these cookies. These are insane. And they're really good when you like cook them, you know, like they're intended to, but they're even better when you just eat them as cookie dough. Because I'm a psychopath. Oh my God. I feel like I really haven't eaten much today. In the new year, or just in life in general, I've been wanting to recommit myself to having a spiritual practice that like connects me more to God, the universe, and I also believe that starts by being connected to yourself. I've been every day spending like 10 minutes sitting down and just breathing and getting reconnected with my body. Sometimes doing some inner child work, like talking to my inner child, picturing her, asking her like what she needs and what she wants and like giving that to her. And today it was just all like flowing out of my mind. It feels really good to be present in your body because I've spent so much time disassociated from my own body and disassociated from my life. Meaning I feel like I just live in my head and I'm, I'm in a moment, like I'm there, but mentally I'm not really there. And I feel like that puts me at such odds and at such distance with myself, with source, with my body. And it just feels good to drop in and like you can do it right now. And I feel really good about this pattern. I am going to do my best to continue that and keep that up every day. I feel like five, 10 minutes is something super easy to commit to. If I, want to t if I tell myself I wanna do like a 30 minute meditation or an hour long meditation, it's just not like my brain, no. My brain doesn't wanna fucking do that. But once you start, that's really like 90% of the battle. And I'm not gonna wait till January 1st to start our cookie dough thing. proud of myself because I'm ending a vlog on the same day that I started it. My friend Nicolette came over and we literally just talked on my couch for like four hours <clears throat> and we ended up eating like more cookies. I made some more of those gluten-free cookies and I have some ginger tea that I'm sipping on and I'm about to go to bed. That would be my boob pillow. I really hope I don't get like demon demonetized for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and subscribe if you are not already to become a healthy human and i'll see you guys in the next one